the first things I was drawing were cars and trucks. And I still am drawing cars. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, um, it does make me laugh to be doing what you used to do as a kid and almost making money out of it. So, yeah, that is life. It's up and down. You don't know when the work's coming in. You don't know when the money's coming in. But every day is just a pleasure to encounter and make art. My name is Joel Clark. I'm a vinyl artist working with hand-cut vinyl, which I stick onto anything I can stick it onto. And this is my studio. Yeah, that's really one of those random wake up in the morning moments and think, oh, I wonder if I do that. I mocked one up in Photoshop. I thought that looks quite mad ordered a door off of eBay, off of Ford Focus, started sticking vinyl on it and throughout the process, literally the first bits going on, it just looked so surreal. It just, oh, it just turned me on. It was just, it gave me such a buzz and it just blossomed from there. The 917 doors, in fact, the, or the Porsche parts, ART in caps, is my latest project. Downstairs from where we're sat is a workshop that, would you believe, build Porsche 917s, 906s, 908s. So uh, that's crazy enough in itself. But Anthony, who builds them, who I've partnered with, supplied me a while ago with some Porsche pieces. Which, would, which weren't good for their builds. We got chatting and said, well, actually I can get the mold for a 917 door sent over. And we thought, well, hang on a minute, let's do a collection. Every petrol head knows all those famous liveries, the Golf, the Martini, Pink Pig, and what have you. Um, so let's, let's make them for the wall. And rather than it just being a replica door, the whole, concept was to imagine seeing the car on track flies past you it's in a blur of color so our idea is to freeze frame that image take the door off that car and stick it on your wall so you've got that speed and drama and color of one of the most legendary race cars hanging on your wall they are more of a collage as much as anything. Once the final image is selected, um, in Photoshop I'll just warp the image to make it look like it's flowing over the bodywork. That then just gets photocopied out to whatever size piece I'm doing. So I will have what would have been a huge photocopy of the grandstands at Daytona Speedway. If you can see, I would draw into the picture, break it down into blocks of colour, and then that's where the cutting begins. Much like a painting, you just start with your darker background, as big a space as possible, and then just start building up layer by layer, getting to lighter and lighter and lighter. With my extreme lack of patience, I can cut a bit and stick it straight on, and that's how it looks. Don't have to wait for paint to dry, don't have to mix the paint, don't have to blend it in. It's an instant gratification process, I think, yeah, as opposed to painting. Some of the hardest bits is really when it comes to sticking, because if you're going around little corners, and if you're going, especially on the doors, around door handles and indoor handles, and getting it around the edges and so on, and you've got bubbles and you get bits in the vinyl and all that lot, but the idea behind these is not supposed to look like a perfect, computer rendition or a perfectly flat piece. They're quite tactile. You can still run your hand over, you can feel all the ridges and so on. And it just takes that edge off it looking too finished and too neat. Of which, if you wanted to do that, you're just on a computer. To tell yourself you're gonna make it as an artist is, it's like people on X Factor thinking they're gonna be um, superstars you know you're dreaming um, but that's what you know this dream 
<laughs> somehow come true. It, is, uh, it really is a dream every day come true. Hey, I'm Nash, I run Retro Restorer, and basically what we do here is everything 944 with the odd 924, 968 and 928 mixed in. There is no other car that I've ever driven that gives you the sensory onslaught that the 944 gives you. It's one of those things that's very difficult to explain unless you've actually driven one.